Now in the question number 34, it says that in the figure about the square DBC. So this is not square. Square means all the sides are equal and all the interior angles are 90 degrees. So we know this. And then this is also 90 degrees. So if this is 90 degrees, this is to automatically 90 degrees. Three, four, this is spatial triangle. All these five. I just read this sentence or just this information and I have put all this information. And then let me continue. This is now three, it says, okay. And then OE, OE is four, so it's okay. What is the length of AD? So if I call this as X, what is the length of X? So what can we do? Do you have any idea? Think a little bit. It's the square. So we said that this is right now totally seven. This is right now five plus X. And then here, do we know anything about the AB? Any idea? Uh, the length of A and B, sir? The question is find AD. AD. So we said that since three is given, three, 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 we can say since this is a square. And then this is given four. So this is three, this is four. It means automatically this is five. Till here, mm -hmm. there is no question. But the mm -hmm. problem is find AD, which is X. I call, this is X, this is three, this is question mark. So how can we find this question? I mean, we want to find the X, but to find the X, we need firstly the side length A, B. Three square plus X square? No, I don't think that's right. Yeah, you, we can say, but there should be something else. So we just look here. <laughs> we cannot move here. So we have to think something else. Uh -huh. So whenever you have this kind of question, guys, so directly remember similarity. Directly remember similarity. What was the similarity? So I should have corresponding angles. Do I have, let me think, this is three, I and mean, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees. So this is alpha, this is alpha. Why this is alpha, this is alpha? Why these two angles are equal to each other? The reason is this. I can say that since this is a square, to be a square, what is the property? Opposite sides are parallel to each other. I mean, this side is parallel to this side and this side is parallel to this side. Am I right till here? So if two things are parallel to each other, can I say that this angle is equal to this one? So this angle, if I call alpha, for example, this is also alpha. Any question why these two angles are alpha and alpha? Any question? Is this clear? Yes, sir. If this is, yes, clear, sir. Yes, sir. If this is clear, simple. Why simple? 90 degrees alpha, let me call beta, which is let me draw here, small triangle. So 90 degrees alpha, and beta, and now this is, I don't know, I will find X, but I know this is three. And big triangle, so I can maybe put better to letters A, B, D, and A, C, O. So this is alpha, and this is 90 degrees, this is beta, so alpha, alpha, beta, beta, 90, 90, what does it mean? angle, 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 similarity we have. It means that corresponding angles, opposite of the corresponding angles are proportional. It means that opposite of 90 degrees, it's here X equals opposite of 90 degrees in this triangle. So what is, the, what is this in this triangle? What is the opposite of 90 degrees? 
If you remember at the beginning of the question, I said that three, four, five, if I call this as X, so this will be totally five plus X. So if I put it here, five plus X, I have to write five plus X. Am I clear? Yes. And then equals opposite of beta is three. So opposite of beta in big triangle, in largest triangle. So three, three means, you know, this is totally seven. So this is being right now seven. And that means this is seven. And then how can I find the X by doing cross product? Seven times X is equal three times five plus X. And then seven X is equal 15 plus three X. So four X is equal to 15. If I take the other side, X is equal 15 over four, which is the solution of the question. The question is find AD. AD is we call X. So X is calculated 15 over four. That's it. Any question? Uh, 15 over four, you can write as a decimal number if you wish. Or you know, sometimes this is probably open-end question. You can use this or 15 over four, it is 3.5. What is that? 3.75. 3.75, so you can write 3.75, 3.75, it's okay. So again, when you have difficult questions, remember the similarity, angle, 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 and then finish the question. So this example, this example also it's a good one. When I look at here, A, B, C, D is a square. A direct line can say that this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees. If this is 12, this is 12. If this is four, this is eight, and this is 12. So just one information, I put all this data. I hope there's no problem till here. Above has a side length of 12, if BF is four, yes, we said, what is the length of BE? BE, so let's call BE is X. The question is find X. <clears throat> now, whenever you have a figure, something like this, I call this butterfly. So remember direct the similarity. How the similarity? To have the similarity, we should have the parallel lines, first of all. This is a square. A square means opposite sides are parallel to each other. It means that these two sides are parallel to each other. Excellent. Why excellent? This angle, if I call alpha, this angle will be alpha. Any question for this? Alternate interior angles. You know, whenever we have something like that, these two things are equal to each other. And similarly, if I call this is beta, so this will be now beta. And then this is vertical or vertex angles, direct, they are equal to each other. Let's call theta and theta. So what I have now is a side length, this is 12. So let me copy down 12. This is X, which I wanna find, this is my question. And then what I know, uh, this side is, this small part is four, so this is now four. And then one question, my dear students, one question. When you look at here, where this triangle, can we find all the side lengths? Actually, this is 12. This is also 12. So this is directly, this is directly 12 root two. Am I right? Yes. Right triangle, A, A, A root two. If this is 45, 45. If this is a square and if this is a diagonal, diagonal is here angle bisector, 45, 45. So I know that this is totally, totally this length. If I call DB, DB is totally 12 root two. So only this part, where here, it will be 12 root two minus X. Why minus X? You know that from D to B, it's 12 root two. So 
If I call only this part, I have to subtract something like this. If this is totally 12, if we call this part is x, so what will be this remaining part? 12 minus x, y, their total will be 12, something like this. So if I turn back my question then, my aim is to find, tell me x. Mm, okay, what can I say? For example, can I talk about this length? It's a little bit difficult. Can I talk about this length? It's a little bit difficult. I can, but it's a little bit difficult. Do I need? Maybe it seems, yeah, it seems difficult. So no need. Probably this information will be enough. What is the information? Alpha, beta, theta, alpha, beta, theta. That means similarity we have. If we have the similarity, for example, let me choose this triangle first. In this triangle, opposite of alpha, what I have, 12 root two minus X divided by in small triangle, which means here, what is the opposite of alpha? So opposite of alpha is X equals in the big triangle, opposite of theta, it's 12. It's 12, pardon, I couldn't write, let me clean. So it is 12. And in small triangle opposite of theta, it's four. And then it's finished, why it's finished? 12 over four is three. If I do cross product, 12 root two minus x is three x, 12 root two is four x, and then 12 and four, if I simplify, three root two is equal to x. That's it. Please have a look. Uh, so what we understand, if the square is given, if a rectangle is given, and if the question is a little bit difficult, it seems, if you have like a butterfly figure, directly think about similarity. So when the things are similar, their corresponding sides are proportional. So opposite of alpha here, divided by opposite of alpha here. Opposite of theta here, divided by opposite of theta here, and then cross product and result comes out. Any question to ask me? One of you tell me, please, anything? Let me explain again, or it is enough? Yeah, can Where you possible if again? you could explain again? I can explain again. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but let's do this one, Ahmed. Let's oh, this try the 36, since it's almost same, almost same. The logic is same, I mean. I can explain yeah. again. Okay. Let's talk about this 36 quickly. Now, quickly, what I see when I look at the first time, 90 and 90, good. And vertex A is common. If I call this is alpha, alpha is member of triangle A, D, E triangle, and alpha is member of or angle of A, B, C. So in triangle A, D, E, if this is alpha, if this is 90 degrees, if I call this is beta, look at the big triangle, A, B, C triangle, alpha, 90, this is automatically will be beta. Is this clear for all of you? Yes. Since, since you know that, alpha plus 90 plus beta in the small triangle, alpha plus beta plus 90 degrees is 180, which means alpha plus beta is 90 degrees. So in the big triangle, alpha it's here, 90 it's here, so this is angle C. So alpha plus uh, 90 plus angle C, totally 180. So alpha plus question mark 90. So how could it be alpha plus question mark 90? We said that alpha plus beta is 90. It means that beta is directly equal to question mark. So we said this is beta. And then question is finished. Why finished? We have two different triangles, but they have the same or congruent angles. And then I can directly say that they are similar. Triangles are similar. The reason is alpha, beta, 90 degrees are congruent. Congruent means equal. They equal each other. So what am I going to say then? 
when I look at the question, AB is 12. So let me call here, AB is 12. And AC is 13, AC is 13. Now I directly remember that this is a spatial triangle, 12, 13, so this must be five. This is not given, but I can say why. The rule says, if this is 12, if this is 13, this is five, or 12K, 13K, 5K. If you don't remember in exam, what can you do? 13 square minus 12 square is equal BC square, and then BC will be five. But better to memorize 5, 12, 13. This is a spatial triangle. 10, 24, 26, 15. Uh, tell me times two, it will be 36 times three, it will be 39, for example. I'm multiple of the uh, 5K, 12K, 13K, also it's possible. And then DE is equal to three, good. What is the AE? Where is AE here? So let me go, this is X. So it's simple. In small triangle, opposite of beta is X. In the big triangle, opposite of beta, opposite of beta is 12. In small triangle, opposite of alpha is three. In the big triangle, opposite of alpha is five. And then question finished. Five times X, 12 times three. So X is 36 divided by five. That's it. This is the answer of the question. Or decimal number, you can say that seven point something, okay? Have a look to solution. Uh, I will take the attendance. Just have a look to solution. I can explain one more time again, it's fine. Now, do you have questions, guys? No, not really. Okay. So for this, Ahmed, for this, the first of all, question says it's a square. Square means all the sides are equal. So this is 12, four is given, that means the remaining part is eight and 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. I said that when I look at this figure, this triangle and this triangle are similar to each other, but why? There should be parallel lines, first of all, to capture, to see the similarity. I know that square means opposite sides are parallel to each other. That means this side is parallel to this side. And then if I call, let me draw it again here. I am drawing. Thank you, sir. Like this. If I say this is B, this is F, this is D, this is A, this is E. First of all, I can say that these two angles are equal to each other. Any question for this? No. Vertex and opposite side. Let's call this is theta. Let's call this is theta or anything, no problem. And then I'm saying that this angle almost equal to this angle. The reason is alternate interior angles. These two things are parallel to each other. Think like that. So I have one transversals. So this one, it's directly equal to this one. This is the rule we should know. Do we know this? If we don't know, you can even use this one. This is the under the parallel line. So it is equal to this one and then vertex angles. So these are equal to each other. You see now alpha, alpha, alpha. So if I call this is alpha, this will be also alpha. And similarly, if I call this is beta, and then since it's parallel, so it has something like that, okay? So I'm saying that this angle will be equal to this angle. The reason is alternate interior angles, or you can say that under the line, 
under the line and opposite. So these are all same angles. It means this is now beta. And so this is 12 given. This is now four. This is now we call X. Now I said that what is the length of this diagonal? So if I have 12, 12, 12, and 12, the diagonal is, you know that 90 degrees, 45 and 45 directly. So this is 12 root two, practically. If it's difficult to remember, 12 square plus 12 square is equal to diagonal square Pythagorean theorem. And you will calculate this is 12 root two. So this is 12 root two, it's good. But till here, I call X. So what will be remaining part? It will be, 12 root 2 minus xy, this one plus x will be 12 root 2 totally. So I'm saying that this is 12 root 2 minus x, this part. 12 root 2 minus x. And then opposite of beta, 12 root 2 minus x here. Opposite of beta, x here. Opposite of theta, 12 here. Opposite of theta four here, and then cross product. Before making cross product, I simplify, so it is only three. So three times x is equal to one times 12 root two minus x. And when you do the cross product, result comes out directly. Okay, now uh, let me take